Hello, my name is Jennifer Geddes and I am the librarian at the Phoenix School of Discovery. This is a piece um, that is to make a face shield. Um, there's a shortage right now uh, for all of our medical workers for PPE, which is their personal protection equipment. This was made with a 3D printer out of PLA, which is just plastic, and the machine basically melts the filament plastic and then prints this out layer by layer. A few weeks ago, uh, we received an email about a 3D printing workshop that UofL was going to host here at the Amist Center. Right before COVID-19 showed up on our doorstep, we did a National Science Foundation workshop to teach them how to use 3D printers in their classroom for STEM activities. They showed us how to use the 3D printers and um, some of the technicalities of 3D printing in the hopes that we would then take the printers back to our schools and teach our students about that job skill because there is a need for that in the market. And um, it just is a coincidence now really that we're needing 3D printers to make these pieces. We are offering a what's called a barrier protection from droplets or mists. It's sanitized and then it's packaged and it's shipped. When we started getting more orders coming in than we could handle, we sent out an email to them and said, hey, can you print some of these for us? I was able to get into the school and bring the 3D printer to my home, and that is where I've been printing. And just every two and a half hours, one piece finishes up, I take it off and start a new one. This is gonna make it so real for our students when we get back to school and we are no longer printing things that are just cool or cute projects. It's real life, it's helping others, it's paying it back, paying it forward, not only to help UofL, which is where we got the 3D printer from for free, um, but also paying it back to our medical workers who are very crucial at a time like this. And uh, we can take this, this lesson and this community involvement and teach them so many different lessons beyond even just the technicalities of 3D printing itself. All finished, ready to start the next one.